with savory salt and the fam we keep on cooking welcome welcome back guys Ooh, i am so so excited so we have julian's in today's menu very very highly suggested a video as well so thank you to all of you that suggested this let's go ahead and get dig in and see what it's all about so without further ado father god whom is in heaven thank you for the wonderful food you've blessed us with and allowed us to be on our dinner table dear god uh, we can't thank you enough lord and we ask you to bless the food please let it be nourishing to our bodies dear god and please help anyone that's without or that's in need in jesus name i pray amen all right guys so julian's has probably and before we get started or go any further please make sure you give this video a thumbs up should you like it also please don't forget to click the um, subscribe button along with the bell not notification button so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content you guys don't want to miss out and also thank you thank you thank you to all of you newer subscribers as well as you older subscribers welcome aboard and we can't say thank you enough and yes, guys, I am getting some pepper, and I have, I believe these are the lima beans. They may be the baby lima beans. I have turnip greens. Um, these are, uh, what are they? I forget real quick. It's going to come to me. But I also have the gravy smothered pork chop, boneless pork chop. And this is a version of their um, General's Chicken and their cornbread. Now, this is funny because I hadn't seen this cornbread in a while. My mother and my grandmother used to make this. We would call it hot water cornbread, which they would make on top of the stove. So very, very interesting to see that. I hadn't seen that in years, y'all. All right. So let's get into it. Yes. Now, judging by all of the, heard a lot of great things about them, and I guess they have been around quite some time. Um, they're not new. They definitely have been around, uh, I know, some years. So they didn't have a menu. You guys know that watch this channel. I normally have the menu up there where I've, I can uh, at least tell you guys a little bit about the restaurant or whatnot. So we are going to be reviewing them today. So let's go in with that first bite. And I haven't put the gravy on yet because I want to taste it without the gravy to see what the flavor is. So take that first bite. Mm. I can see it. Now, this used to also be a buffet place where you could go in and fix your own food and stuff. A bit of the turnip greens. Now, I do have some of their pepper sauce here, which I'm going to get on those greens. Now, you guys know I love my greens. I did a couple how-tos around the holidays of those greens, non-sodium, and I think we have a sodium one up too. So if you haven't already, go check those out. Our greens are absolutely delicious, so it's very critical that your greens be very flavored and you know, just cooked well. And happy, happy Friday to you guys. Um, hopefully you guys are in good health and still being safe. <laughs> As we are still doing what we're being asked to do. All right, y'all. So let's get some of their gravy up here. See uh, what this is about. Now, I did taste a piece of the generous chicken it's it's very different um 
And I'm not sure where general uh, chicken is originally created from. I'm not sure if it's just a Chinese food or just a... Uh, just a general chicken that's made from anyone's kitchen. Okay, the gravy is very light. And I'm, I'm liking it. Let's go back with... Some of the turners, greens. <clears throat> now, if I put some of the pepper sauce on. Okay. I'm also going to get a piece of their cornbread here. You know, I hadn't had this cornbread in a while. <laughs> hadn't seen this in a very long time. So I was, when they said, Did you want cornbread or roll? And I said, Cornbread. I was shocked to see this cornbread. It just brings back so, so many memories. <laughs> My mom would love to make this with certain things, and she didn't want to turn on the oven to bake a full pan, but it was always good, y'all. And then my mom's version would be a little more browned on top. Okay. And it's pretty heavy. So it feels like there's a lot of flour and milk and all that stuff in there. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure that you can make it light because, like I said, my grandmother would make it and several other family members and it was always different. So just was very excited about seeing this. So kudos to them for even having this on their menu. All right, y'all, let's go in with that. And you definitely want to soak some of that cornbread in those uh, green juices and kind of get it mixed up there. Okay, what kind of peas these? Oh, these are soup peas, I believe it is. Mm. And one thing I have noticed is a lot of these places don't cook their greens from scratch nor their string beans and if you're a green lover or a veggie lover or you cook them you know yourself you're going to notice that off the off the rip or off the muscle and these do taste like they're canned <clears throat> and not the fresh version and often when you're cooking are serving these out of the can there's not much you can do with them because you don't want to over season them or under season them so I'm going to put a little bit of hot sauce on these greens on top of the pepper sauce because it just tastes as if they're out of a can <laughs> they're not um, you know just uh, the fresh version. And when I say fresh version is you buy them in a bunch, you clean them, <laughs> you cut them, you clean them several times. Um, some people like to wash theirs in salt to make sure that there's no um, bugs or worms left in them. Um, it's just a process that you go through. And I understand a big industry is not, you know, they don't have a lot of time to do that. But I personally, if I'm going to order greens out, I definitely want them fresh. And you can tell the difference. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Pork chop as well. Seasoned. Mm.
Same thing with the um, llama beans. Huh? They're really disguised, so it's hard to tell. But I know when I being experienced with, I'm just gonna crumble some of that cornbread up here <clears throat> to get it on my in my greens here. But normally, when you're cooking those lima beans, and lima beans by far are one of my favorite beans. I don't care if they're the whole lima beans or they're the baby lima beans. But if you're cooking those, you're going to get that that gravy if they're from the dry portion um, versus having them out of a can. You just you, you can't get that same effect. So... A lot of the stuff is canned, <clears throat> which, I mean, it's not bad if you don't mind, and you can disguise it, but a lot of people don't want to eat out of a can, like, I per se stopped using canned goods some time ago, years ago, maybe like... I'm going to say about five years ago. Because they're really bad for you. They're packed in with sodium. Just to keep it reserved so that wherever you're purchasing it from or the manufacturer can sell it or before it's out of date. And they have to use so many preserves and reserves to even, you know, make the stuff still edible. So, it's really bad in the long run. That's the reason <clears throat> why we try to stay away from canned goods. So, you know, but if you don't mind, and some people wrench and wrench and wrench, you know, they take it through a process. But I highly doubt that at a place. Uh, I mean, you'll be able to tell because you can taste it in your food. It's going to come off in the food. And um, like I said, if you... Me, you know, and my family, we, we stopped eating that oh, some time ago, so. Whereas canned goods used to be the thing, the way to go. But when you find out that, you know, your sodium, sodium intake shouldn't be over, I think it's 50 milligrams a day per serving for one individual. And then you get a can, one canned good would be... 1350 plus or, or so for that one can good. It's just better to get your stuff frozen or fresh. So, and even the frozen um, llama beans, you can still get that, that goodness once you've cooked them down properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are snow peas. <laughs> Once again, I don't think they're the fresh version nor the frozen version. But mm, that was a general chicken, y'all. This is pretty good. Oh, I think I pretty much tried everything. And I do have there. <clears throat> sweet tea here so overall on a scale from 1 to 10 where 1 is I never go back or nor recommend this uh, restaurant to anyone and 10 is I would definitely recommend them and also be going back to get the same meal here we're probably going to have to go with maybe like a 7.5 and that's because 
you know, we do include everything with this. And number one, you know, the, the shortcutting. Hmm. Now, the second dosage of pepper sauce was made these greens come to life. Mm-hmm. So maybe a seven and a half, maybe an eight. Mm. But like I said, it's just my preference itself is, you know, I we don't really do the canned goods because like I said, they're really harmful to your health wise. And I don't know, when you say down home cooking, you know, or and they, but someone did warn that they wouldn't say that it's actually in a soul food place, although they have a lot of soul food items on the menu because that person was seasoned and they know the difference that, you know, soul food is where you actually get your stuff fresh and you really cook this stuff, you know, <clears throat> and normally a lot of soul food cooking, they don't do a lot of shortcutting. What we call it. Soul food cooking is when you. Y'all seen soul food with. <laughs> some type of pepper. <laughs> and it takes a bunch of hands. A bunch of people in the kitchen. To help with that cooking. Not a meal that you're going to. Just be able to put together that fast. It just takes a lot of work. And prep work. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to stick with the seven and a half. Mm. But overall, it's not bad at all. It's just depending on what you're looking for. And you guys know that we include everything into the oven. I'm just getting a little bit more of their gravy up there. The customer service, the... um presentation of the food, the quality, the price, all of the above when we're um, scoring these uh, places. Hmm. Iced tea is pretty good. <clears throat> and, and the price wasn't too bad for this. You know, and like I said, I think this used to be more of a, what well, was a buffet place until, you know, everything that's happened. And a lot of places, you know, they're not allowing people to go in and self-serve, like on the um, buffets and stuff. So... Which is funny because we've been in some places where, you know, they've had the open salad bar and they're basically just asking you to hand sanitize and then put your gloves on before you touch any of the utensils to um, self-serve yourself a salad. So... But I'm not sure if it's the same guidelines or not for an open buffet place. Mm. Well, guys, I am getting full. Mm. Pretty good little meal here. Let's take another bite of the smothered gravy pork chop. Let me get this in here. And I don't think they they had the bone in it. I tell you guys all the time that watch the how tos on this channel, or when you're preparing that meat, anyone that knows that really, you know, that's into cooking or whatnot, you're gonna lose a little bit of that flavor there if you're doing your meats without the bone in. It's just a thumb of rule. <laughs> all right, y'all. And thank you, thank you, thank you to 
if you guys watched it last video. Mm. Of the Let's see football. So if you haven't had a chance to go check that out, make sure you guys go check it out. Give that video a thumbs up. And this is going to wrap it up for us on this one, y'all. But thank you, thank you, thank you again uh, for tuning in, watching the channel. And we will see you guys later with another video. It's Savory Solid in the fam. Deuces.